Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Sanctus Reach is the wrong game Inquisitor Maturai of course meant and we are going to search the um, scriptorium Uther's scriptorium I found evidence of some troubling occurrences in the inner sanctum Uther Tiberius was mating in the dark in dark um McKinish what the hell McKinne Mechanicians, <laughs> he was experimenting with um, soulless Perias demons bound into mortal flesh. He had clearly lost his way, or had he? The answer awaits me in Uther's scriptorium. Foster High, can you hear me? A scriptorium, I suppose. Uther Tiberius had his own secluded laboratory there, where he must have kept his personal cogitator. Find that room. Oh yeah, we will do. And the that's the thing I expected of the Melta gun. As you can see, it just absolutely does the damage against armor target and against normal targets as well. So it is absolutely what I was expecting and for now I'm going to keep it actually. It even has something like the hotshot from the uh, less gun and it is oh my god obliterating everything that looks absolutely insane so as you can see not every time i'm using new weapons in this game or weapons i haven't used before and i completely fell or i completely uh, um, get in love with them and the melter gun there is actually one exception i absolutely enjoy it so I'm hope we are going to see something like Something like a Reborn Marauder, but the Trap Bolter there is going to be just fine. And there you can see how good we are against it. So, pretty neat weapon. I have not often wielded it before. I know I have. I don't know in which video actually I did, but for now I'm pretty damn impressed by the performance. So I would like what would be really really amazing if we would face something like a decimator, a hellbrood, a Leon Ross, whatever. Something which is really oh there we have a space marine. Actually, well, yeah, fair enough. Um is uh, it's a armored target as well, but not as armored as I would have liked, and we are doing 300 damage per shot there, even over 300 damage, so that is absolutely impressive, so, so, so. It's always nice to find new stuff, which you actually like, which is not too, too often. Would you look at that? A false emperor sent us his servants to suffer the most glorious torture imaginable. Spare me the monologue, creature, and prepare to die. Tell me, Inquisitor, what did you expect to find here? I was led here by dark prophecies and magnificent fever dreams. But you? You have no idea what we are about to unleash on your Imperium. Enough of your gibberish. Die. <laughs> Die. Yes, so they will do. The really cool thing is now that we can put the Malta gun into a comparison. As I already see, it is absolutely insane. I think it's 
it is a really awesome weapon even the armor breaking stuff is absolutely insane and there you can see why I love it against the Hellbrute it is doing really good as well and that is what we need so a soul traitor marine remaining down it goes and on we go oh I uh, was actually thinking that this was the end but it is not and that's good because we are not too too long in this episode so on we go and let's see what else we will find here we already needed to use two inoculators so difficulty wise it is all right i might say Okay, I think that looks really neat. What I always like if um, when these are actually not only textures, but they are um, modeled in three. That is always what I like. So here's the cogitator. Let's see. I have located Uther's personal cogitator. First, I had to explain to the word bearer filth that they are not allowed to touch it. I'm so worried about their presence on the ship. Access the cogitator immediately. What have you found? The proof we needed. Uther's secret weapon was a unique pariah, who is capable of the impossible. She didn't just banish demons. She utterly destroyed them. By the Emperor. That could have been the most powerful weapon against the filth of chaos. And she could have had a significant impact on the fate of the Sector. Or the whole Imperium. We need to know what happened to her. Uther Tiberius had a meditation chamber in the Sanctum, where he must have kept his personal notes. Find that room. So, second task of this mission. Um, the... okay, it seems to be away quite a bit so that is what i often say in not only rpgs but in mmos as well our missions i do not like too too much where you have to go uh, where, where you have to go from a to b and well just something i don't enjoy too too much but i understand why such missions are in games like this it is acceptable but still i do not like them too too much because i i, I don't feel like they are um dynamic it's it, it is too often that you have to go from a to b and just have to collect some things and then go over the whole map and collect the next things that's always i don't like too too much but is sadly a thing which you have to endure to complete the game. So anyhow, I don't want to talk about that right now. Let us get back into the game right here. So as I said, I really enjoy the Melter Gun. You can see how much damage it does. What I'm most impressed with is that it actually does not only do damage against armor target which we of course always need it does the damage against um, light armor targets as well and you can take down the black barrels really really easily and then the armor targets as well and that is what i enjoy although of course the more enemies um, are coming it of course is getting overheated but there you just have to get a little careful i guess but as you can see here with the overheat thing it's just all right the only the only small thing i do not like is the sound of the melter gun there's something i don't enjoy quite that much but anyhow you can bear it if you imagine how much damage it does it is just all right so technically this mission feels quite easy um what is funny 
is that we already have used four inoculators, which I did not thought. All right, here we go again. Lost our eye. I'm in Uther's meditation chamber. I can see a journal. Uther Tiberius Journal Fragment. I am burdened by doubt. I find this sentiment abnormal and troubling. I have made thousands suffer and yet never wavered in my determination, for they all suffered, knowing that their pain would bring forth the salvation of the Imperium. I survived in intrigue, excommunication and betrayal and st still prevailed, for I believed in the sanctionity of my work, the flames of my visions were destined to burn away the darkness of the internal night, but now I am filled with qualms. Looking at this um, being of immense power certainly makes me uncertain. The Alpha Peria is the first of her kind, the apex of my entire vocation. Still, the sight of the raw, untrained power fills me with absolute dread. Have I gone too far? I know I was eternal damnation, but everything I did, I did for sake of the Imperium. But what if I was wrong? The pact I made with the Abomination, whom I will not... Does it go on? Yes. I will not name. Even here fills me with shame, even this very day. But I am confronted by the knowledge that it wasn't... I'm aware that I had tricked it, but I remember its lather and remember the creature reciting that mad prophecy with ob obvious glee and witnessing the Alpha Peria, the untouchable that never was made and never was, made me think that the Anathema Ultima from the prophecy she could save the Imperium and she could also destroy everything. I held sacred, I decided to place her in the most secure stasis chamber to sleep until I have better grasped of her powers chamber. 93 has been retrofitted with um, wards for my of my own design, sorry there. No one can access the Alpha Paria but me. God Emperor guide me in the path of righteousness now. Alright. And it contains some surprising revelations. Even Uther Tiberius was horrified by the powers of the Alpha Pariah. That's what he called her. No, he locked her away in the main stasis chamber. Which means that she was still alive. This is incredible. And we have a Chaos Sorcerer on the ship who knows about her too. I'm on my way to the chamber. I'm almost there. I'll meet you at the entrance. All right, we are done with the mission. Although I think that the Chaos Sorcerer shouldn't be a problem, um, as f um, what I know. But the Parias, Parias, I don't know how to pronounce that. That every one who is a psychic is actually having a little trouble around them and feeling great unease so the sorcerer of chaos should do as well all right here we have an upgrade i go with that even though we do health regeneration as you know health regeneration is really really important but sometimes you just have to go for the better weapon there and i think that already brings us to the end of this episode taking that one not the other one <laughs> as usual i really thank you for watching guys if you have enjoyed this episode then why don't you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i hopefully see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye